So how is your faith? Serious question. Think about it. Hi fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Akubeze and I'm a Christian content creator based in Lagos, Nigeria. Back with another episode of my faith series in which we are doing a deep dive into Hebrews 11 to study the faith of the great and to figure out, you know, how was their faith and what can we learn from their faith. So this week we are studying the faith of Enoch. So if you watched last week's video, then you'll know our anchor scriptures for this week is Hebrews 11, 5 and Genesis 5 from verse 21 to 4. So I hope you did your assignment. Please be sure to do the assignment every week. Thankfully, this week is short, so we're going to be able to read everything. But every week, we might not be able to. So Hebrews 11, 5, I'm reading from NLT first, says it was by faith that Enoch was taken up to heaven without dying. He disappeared because God took him. For before he was taken up, he was known as a person who pleased God. Um, in NIV, it says that by faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. And ESV says, by faith, Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death and he was not found because God had taken him. Now, before he was taken, he was commended as having pleased God. So the first thing that stands out to me is that Enoch was taken up to heaven without dying. He did not experience death. He was taken up so that he should not see death. And immediately I'm thinking about Abel because we studied the faith of Abel last week and we saw that after he gave God this, you know, amazing offering and sacrifice, his brother killed him and he died. And I'm like, hmm, so last week we saw that Abel died as almost like a reward for his faith and i was telling myself okay maybe that means that you know to die is gain really and truly like our reward is not here in the physical it's not here and now um and it is better to go and be with god but then the next verse literally in verse 5 we're learning about enoch and it's emphasizing how he was taken up to heaven without dying by his faith and so I'm already wondering, you know, what do I make of that? But we move on. The next thing I see is that, you know, he disappeared because God took him. For before he was taken up, he was known as a person who pleased God. So basically, he was taken away by God. God took him. Um, he could not be found on this earth. I guess they didn't find his body. That's how they knew he didn't die. He was taken away and he was known as someone who pleased God so emphasis on him being known as somebody who pleased God emphasis on him being commended as somebody who pleased God and that was his reputation is basically what I get out of it so in my mind I started imagining okay I guess they started looking for Enoch like where is Enoch and they couldn't find him and they just assumed or they just figured out that oh he was taken away by God because he was known as somebody who pleased God so what does it really mean to please God? Um, that's when we're going to deep dive into Genesis 5. So Genesis 5, to just paint the picture, is basically a chapter that summarizes like the genealogy of Adam and Eve from Seth down all the way towards Noah. And so Enoch is one of the descendants and um, basically it now says his life. This is how the chapter goes. If you read the whole chapter, you'll see it to say, Oh, when they were this year old, they had this child, and then from there and there and there. They'll give you a brief summary of their life and then tell you how they died. So 21 is where we start um, hearing about Enoch's life, basically. So it says, when Enoch was 65 years old, he became the father of Methuselah, who ended up living the longest in the world. So I'm just still confused, but anyways. After the birth of Methuselah, Enoch lived in close fellowship with God for another 300 years and he had other sons and daughters. Enoch lived 365 years walking in close fellowship with God. Then one day he disappeared because God took him. So if you go through the list of descendants in Genesis 5, you see that a lot of them lived for very long. Let me even go back to Enoch's father, Jared. Jared lived 962 years. Um, Jared's own father, Mahalalel, lived 895 years. Enoch's son, Methuselah, lived 969 years. 
Methuselah's own son Lamech lived 777 years and so you just see that most of these people lived for very long if you even check like Enoch's life was really short and I'm like what is it with this short life of people of faith like why am I not seeing this pattern and um, you know they say that he disappeared because God took him but something stands out to me in this Genesis reading because it is repeated twice in both verse 22 and 24 that Enoch lived in close fellowship with God Enoch walked in close fellowship with God what I learned about his faith at this point is that it was a faith that involved close fellowship with God it wasn't about religious activity it wasn't about outward demonstrations it was intimacy it was close fellowship with god and i decided to look at what you know other translations described his relationship with god like niv said he walked faithfully with god amplified said in habitual fellowship with god and in reverent fear and obedience enoch walked with god good news says he walked in fellowship with god and message translation said he walked steadily with God. You look at the definition of these words and you see like there is just a communion with God, you know, a friendliness with God, an association with God, and not haphazardly because they describe it as faithful fellowship, um, habitual fellowship, steady fellowship with God. And you see that, um, you know, there was just a constant fellowship with God, a constant relationship with God. Like imagine just doing life with God. That is what I took out of, you know, Enoch's faith. And so, you know, um, I started, I, after that, I now decided to Google walking with God. Um, and this scripture from Micah 6 stood out to me, uh, Micah 6 from verse 6. Two eight. It says, "What can we bring to the Lord? Should we bring Him burnt offerings? Should we bow before God Most High with offerings of yearly calves? Should we offer Him thousands of rams and ten thousand rivers of olive oil? Should we sacrifice our firstborn children to pay for our sins? No, O people, the Lord has told you what is good, and this is what He requires of you: to do what is right, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with God." Faith is about walking with God. You know, it is about doing life with God. What do what what did we remember? Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Without faith, it is impossible to please God because those who come to God must believe that God exists and He rewards those who diligently seek Him. And so I believe that faith is from Enoch, we learned that faith is walking with God. From Abel, we learned that faith is giving God your best and you can give God your best and immediately he takes you away. And we believe that he's taking you away for a greater good. And, um, you know, with Enoch as well, we're learning that faith is walking with God, doing life with God, every moment, everything, every decision that you take, every encounter you have, every thought you have, you know, should always be in fellowship with God. Everything you do should be with God. And so it's not about going to church. It's not about reading your Bible seven times a week, which you, all these things you do have to do to walk with God. You do have to pray to remain in communion with Him. You, you do have to read your word to remain in communion with Him. You do have to fellowship with other believers to encourage your communion with Him. But it's mostly about walking with God, keeping God at the center of your heart, center of your life, interwoven in everything you do. I think that's what we learn about faith from Enoch. And, um, you know, I also remember the scripture that my friend Chantel shared with me from Isaiah 57 from verse 1 to 2. It says, Good people pass away, the godly often die before their time. But no one seems to care or wonder why no one seems to understand that God is protecting them from evil to come. For those who follow godly paths will rest in peace when they die. So whether you die early or whether you're just taken away, and sometimes that being taken away can be taken into hiding. You know, you just disappear. God can call you into a hidden place 
which is what I was telling myself when God was telling me, keep quiet. <laughs> you know, it is because he wants you in close fellowship with him. And we just have to trust him that God knows best for us. He is protecting us and he is always looking out for us because he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So quick and easy, that's what we learned from Enoch's faith. And next week we are going to be studying the faith of Noah. So our anchor scripture is Hebrews 11, 7 and Genesis chapter 6 to 9. So I hope to see you next week. Um, you know, I pray you're always blessed by these studies. And I love you, but never forget Jesus loves you the most. Bye fam.